He's such a good boy. He's a good boy, aren't you? Where are we? At the doctor's office, huh? He's so doctor's pale. office. Yep. I'm going to get all checked up. We're going to get all checked up. Okay, here we go. So I just got back from Caden's pediatrician appointment. Um, I haven't even had breakfast myself, so I'm having a little bit of a late breakfast. And I had my mom go with me because a last pediatrician appointment when he had his, I think it was his 12 month checkup, it was brutal. And so I really, really wanted someone to go with me. Um, he had to get three more shots today and uh, he actually did so much better. I have a lot to update you guys on and I'm going to be sharing um, some footage from when I got back from Florida. I talk about my new um, twin nephew and niece being born. There's just a lot that has happened and I have not updated you guys. So I'll be sharing a lot of info with you in this vlog. Also gonna talk a little bit about our flight home, um, how awful it was, literally a freaking nightmare. Um, so I'll get into that. But first of all, this video is sponsored by Apollo Neuro. I'm gonna talk about something that I've been using for a while to help my anxiety and stress levels. I'm also gonna talk a lot about stress anxiety in this video um, because there's another thing that I have just started doing is going to a chiropractor. I'm gonna talk about my first visit there. I'm gonna talk about what the heck is going on with me and my like diagnosis essentially. So this is a lot to chat about. But I want to thank Apollo Neuro for sponsoring this video. I was actually so upset that I forgot the charger for my Apollo Neuro bracelet when I went to Florida because I use it every single night to help me go to sleep. Um, and I forgot the freaking charger when I was in Florida. I packed it in my bag, but um, it ended up dying, so. home um, I am driving right now I just went to the grocery store and I have a lot to update you on last night we got home from our flight um, honestly the flight was pretty miserable Caden was so cranky he was like screaming and I shared this on my Instagram story but he was like that one kid crying on the plane that everyone's annoyed with and it was so embarrassing and humiliating <laughs> and like I I was finally put in that position of like those other moms that are like struggling with their screaming baby on the plane um, definitely a lot to learn with traveling with the toddler I feel like you know this is obviously all new it's only the second time that he's flown on a plane the first flight we had going to Florida was actually pretty good but I would say that it was good because we had a seat in the middle of us we had like literally no seats around us and it was like a half empty plane so we had room to move around and we had that seat for him in the middle of us so he could lay down he could stretch out and the one for us going home was a tiny plane literally only two seats on either side there was no leg room like nothing he was so cranky it was the worst so yeah it was not fun and then he literally peed all over me i'm going to, through the chick-fil-a drive through in a second legs were like spread apart on top of me and he had shorts on and he literally peed through his diaper and it got all over my pants all over my shirt i was pretty much soaked in pee and i had no change of clothes thank god i had change of clothes for him but i was literally sitting in piss the rest of the plane ride and we still had like another hour left there was also turbulence, so we couldn't get up and go to the bathroom. I couldn't change him. Like, it was it was a freaking disaster. The woman next to us was so nice and understanding. She was like, I'm so sorry that you guys are struggling. Like, I feel so bad for you. She was offering to hold him. She was like, I'm a nurse practitioner. I have grandkids. I have kids. She's like, I can soothe him. Like, I'll play with him. She was so nice. She literally offered me a shirt out of her bag to change into. Um, just so kind. But... Yeah, I guess it helps to have people around you that are understanding because if not, you just feel like terrible and you feel like you're bothering people. 
So anyway, that was our great experience coming home. Um, thankfully, we made it home safe, and I'm grateful for that. And it was a fine, smooth ride other than Caden being miserable. We also went in the middle of the day, and when we flew to Florida, it was like a morning flight, like a 9 a.m. flight. And by the time we were landing, he was like supposed to go down for a nap, so he was like getting tired, and I think he fell asleep for like 20 minutes. I don't know if I talked about this in my last vlog, but the fact that we were like flying in the middle of his nap time, because it was during like his nap window, I think that was just like not a good idea. I think it would be much better for us to do a early morning flight or like a nighttime flight. But also he's a toddler, so like he's not going to sleep on us. Like he never sleeps on us. So I don't know guys, if you have any tips, let me know for future flying. I think it's just better to have a seat for him to lay down in. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We had Moana playing for him. We had a ton of snacks. Like I was all prepared. I think it was just, I don't know what it was. He was just so cranky, like screaming. And then, which was so embarrassing, I went to go lift him up to like see how much he peed and see how much was all over me and I bumped his head on the top of like the, you no, know, cause it's like lower like, and then it goes higher where like the fans are in the overhead compartment. Freaking bumped his head. So then he starts screaming and I'm like, oh, here we go. We're like the worst freaking parents. Everyone's annoyed with us. Everyone hates us. <laughs> like I was, it was just the icing on top of the cake piss all over me but yeah there you go story time of not a great flight experience with a toddler and you know what when we have more kids like I'm sure there's gonna be plenty more of those experiences and that's just how it is like this is just parenting and you know flying traveling with children so anyway there's that little story time yesterday on our way home um, our flight was literally at like 1 o'clock and that was the time that my sister-in-law was going in for induction so she's having twins I know that I talk about my brother and his wife like here and there but I don't really show them too much in the vlogs they like to like keep their life private but they are having twins fraternal twins boy and girl I'm so excited so literally I was just in the grocery store um, she got induced yesterday at 1 o'clock and she's still in labor finally it's 245 she got to 10 centimeters it's been a long long night um, long day as well and she um, got to 10 centimeters and her water broke and they're gonna start pushing soon so I'm like rushing back to my parents apartment right now um, because they're watching Hayden and we're gonna see what the updates are and when she's gonna start pushing and literally who knows within the next few hours or it could be sooner we are gonna have twins in the family they're gonna be born I'm so excited I am also like very anxious right now too I'm just anxious for her I'm anxious about what's gonna happen because I have no idea how like births are for twins and she's doing it naturally hopefully you know we don't know what's gonna happen good morning it's a few days later oh my gosh he's making a mess uh, Kaden is eating some breakfast eggs turkey sausage some avocado he already had a banana um, and Grayson's waiting for food to drop. <laughs> Been a crazy past weekend, past few days, and I'll tell you guys how everything is, but, um, last I left you off with my sister-in-law going into labor, and basically she was at the hospital for several days, um, took a really long time for them to get them out naturally, and they were in the NICU for a little bit, but everything's good. They're healthy, they're home. Um, I don't know by the time this vlog's up if I will announce everything. I know, you want some water? You're not hungry anymore?
We're out here just hanging out. Whoop. It is literally supposed to be in the 80s today. I'm so happy that spring is finally here. Nice little breeze. We're hearing the birds chirp. It's so beautiful. I have Caden's water table out here too, so he's been playing with that. Um, he loves these trucks. I got them in a set for Easter, and they're from Target. I think they're the the B company or B brand or whatever. I'll show you guys. It comes in a little bag, and he's like obsessed with it. My plants are not necessarily thriving because um, it got so cold, and they had to be brought inside when we went to Florida. So they're not doing great and my palm tree kind of died a little so I'm trying to bring that back to life but other than that it still looks pretty good out here. If you guys missed from my previous vlogs and stuff I did show a whole like patio makeover kind of thing um, so I have everything linked on my like to know it. I'll put a link below and I'll also link Caden's water table too keeps pulling this thing off it's, I think something broke and now it will not stay on um, and he knows how to pull it off so oh there's a ball in there <gasps> there we go but yeah it comes with like all these balls and I think he dropped them down there but it's cute and he just he just keeps pulling this freaking thing off so I have to somehow keep it on there so I'm just throwing on some makeup really quickly. Um, I have to go to another chiropractic appointment. Um, Caden's just in the room with me, getting into all my drawers. <laughs> Don't mind all the mess in my shower. It's a freaking disaster. Really need to do some um, like bathroom cleaning and organizing. Throw on some concealer and a little bit of this um, it cosmetic CC cream. Um, this one's in medium tan. It's definitely my like summer shade, so I feel like I gotta bronze myself up a little bit um, to like blend everything. I'm, like in between shades right now, so and he can open doors now, which is so great. <sighs> Ever since we got back from Florida, Caden's been opening doors and he's able to reach everything which like makes me so nervous all right this is like a five not even ten minute makeup mom on the go i didn't even put on bottom mascara and i normally don't put on top mascara over my lash extensions but they are so sparse that i felt like i had to i really need them done it's been like three weeks um but yeah, and then I just quickly filled in my brows. They're not really perfect and great, but it'll do. All right, so I just got changed into a t-shirt and some like biker shorts. These are so comfortable. They're from Aerie. Don't mind all of that. And he just destroyed my bathroom, but yeah, just comfortable and it's going to be hot today, so. I love these because they have like a really cute like tropical kind of pattern on them. So cute. Bottoms too are super high waisted like literally goes all the way up and I have this bralette on from Aerie as well. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. And it's super cute so I'm just going to wear this underneath. Literally my whole outfit everything is from Aerie. Aiden's going to want my camera but I want to talk to you guys. About what? <laughs> okay, do you want mama's phone? How about this? Wanna hold this? Wanna hold this? Look, 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 look. I had to put Caden down because he was getting super cranky and I feel like I couldn't talk, but I talked a little bit about this on my Instagram story. But um I have just been finding ways and products, different things to cope with my anxiety just day to day. And being a mom, it's been hard to find patience and sometimes I just need like a second to breathe. If you have a toddler or you're just raising kids in general, you know exactly, you know, how that feels. And for me, I've struggled with anxiety for many years and a lot of people have just told me 
Meg, you should just go back on medicine. Like, I don't know why you just won't go back on medicine, but for me, I just don't want to feel like I have to rely on medicine. I was on medication for years and I finally got off of everything about three years ago and I feel good. Like, I feel like I can cope. Now that isn't saying that I recommend everyone just go off their medicine if they're on it. Like, it's actually very dangerous to go off medication and like, you have to wean yourself off properly, which is what I did. I didn't just like cut cold turkey, especially when you're on antidepressants and stuff like that. It can get very challenging and some people need to stay on medication. Some people literally just cannot get off and that's okay, but I know how I am off medication. I know how I am on medication and for me, I just don't feel like medication right now is the right fit for me. I think going more of a natural route and finding different ways to cope is the best thing for me. Um, you know, that includes like therapy and chiropractic care, which is also going to help with my pain. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that in a second. Um, you know, trying CBDs. I've been using CBD every single day and I really feel like it's helping me. But all these things need to be um you know in your day-to-day -day routine and really change like your lifestyle to see a difference because it's like how medicine works like you can't just pop medicine and like your problems are gonna go away do you know what i mean i'm all about taking natural routes and learning how to cope with my anxiety and you know my panic and feeling overwhelmed um a lot of the times like i just want to help myself but not just pop a pill you know what i mean Everyone might be different, but this is just my personal preference. So going along with that, this is just another thing that has been helping me on top of CBD and different stuff like that. Um, I've also been doing like some Bible study and that's like my calm down time. Like I really do that when I'm feeling overwhelmed and I just need to set aside that time for me. Um, and I do feel like it has been helping my anxiety a lot uh, being in prayer being in the word and really just letting God take all my worries and stress and anxiety um, has truly helped this bracelet is really interesting and when they reach out to me I felt like it was a perfect fit other thing that I've been struggling with that I talked about a lot was my blood pressure um, and I know that at, that all stems from my anxiety and stress. And it is like hereditary, but I am so young that I just need to get like my stress and anxiety under control to help my blood pressure. I truly, truly believe that. It was interesting when I went on the Apollo Neuro site for the first time, there was a doctor that popped up and it was actually a cardiologist. He said that it was a great product and that it really works. So. That kind of gave me some peace of mind and I was like, wow, this is definitely something that I could use. So when I'm trying out products and stuff, guys, I like do my research and really try to see if it can be a good fit for me and also if it can benefit you. I'm all about being honest and transparent and that is why I try to be <laughs> relatable because I'm just a normal person, normal mom, and I struggle and um, you know, I want to help you too if you're struggling. So this bracelet's really cool. I use it throughout the day when I'm feeling overwhelmed or if I need to focus on work and really get things done. Or I love using it before bed. That is probably the time that I use it most because it really calms me down. Um, it essentially sends sound waves to your nervous system and like balances your body out. It's so crazy to think like what this could do it just feels like it's vibrating on your wrist sometimes when i get really relaxed from this i feel like i can feel it through my whole body it's really weird i'm going to show you what it looks like on the app there's many different settings that you can put this on um, they have energy and wake up social and open clear and focused i use that a lot when i'm trying to get work done rebuild and recover meditation and mindfulness relax and unwind and then sleep and renew i want to say that i probably use relax and unwind and sleep and renew the most um i think i actually fell asleep wearing it last time because i still have like my relax and renew up and i had it on for an hour you can set your intensity to how high you want it um and then you can hit your time. So I think there's 15, 30 minutes, and then 60 minutes.
so hit your duration and your intensity and you can also wear this on your um, ankles as well so whichever way you prefer and I want to mention that this is safe for children we are in a time right now where some kids are still doing virtual learning and it's really hard for them to stay focused and get their work done and be you know attentive so this can definitely work for kids as well i think this is really cool it's definitely helped me a lot i'm not kidding like within 15 20 minutes of wearing this when i have it on i'm ready for bed <laughs> like it's very relaxing something about it i just i can't I can't describe unless you like have felt it but just starts like kind of vibrating and pulsing different different ways like right now it's kind of going slow and it, it builds up the intensity um, and I just I love it it's something about just like having it on makes me feel good this is just another thing that I've been trying out if you guys are interested you can get $50 off when you purchase your Apollo Neuro I'll have a link below for you guys I think I have a discount code that you can use but check it out um, I think it's a really cool product really innovative and it's been helping me I've pretty much been using it for the past couple months or so and I've definitely seen a difference I'm telling you when I went to Florida and I didn't have my charger I was like very upset because it's kind of been like a routine thing for me I like put all my oils on I take my CBD I put this on and I get relaxed for the night so yeah that is that I'll also have um, some other links down below too of like the CBD that I've been using I'm using equilibria I take them orally and then this is also like my muscle rub stuff that I put on every single night um, really oh my god it smells so good really really been liking this and I want to talk to you guys about the chiropractor hopefully today I can actually set the camera up and maybe show you what everything looks like I don't know maybe they'll let me I went for my first appointment like a week ago and then um, that was like really long they had to do x-rays I talked a little bit about this on my Instagram story and basically showed me what my spine looked like and I was freaked out guys I literally cried um they just said that i have a lot of issues and they think that this stuff that's going on with my spine is probably what's causing a lot of this neck and shoulder pain that i've been experiencing for literally years so i set up a plan and i'm going to be going i think like twice a week for several weeks and then maybe once a week but i'm going to do three adjustments a week um so today I'll get two adjustments done, but I'll have them like a little bit separated. I'm going to go at like 3.30. Literally after my first adjustment, I am already feeling a little bit of relief and a little bit more motion. I am extremely, extremely tense up here and like to the point where I couldn't even sit here without being in excruciating pain. Like it got so bad. I was told that I had bursitis for years and I just never really believed it like the guy the doctor literally told me like you're really young to have bursitis like this is not seen in people that are this young like it's usually in like 60 plus year olds so that kind of like was strange to me I I just I don't know but anyway really do feel like this chiropractic care will help and it was just amazing to me just mind-blowing how your spine controls like your entire nervous system and he, he talked a lot about stress and he said that there's three layers of stress there's physical stress there's emotional stress and then there's chemical stress and we got talking a lot about it and i really feel like this is just going to help my overall mood my stress my anxiety everything and I'm, I'm very excited about it. It is, it is a little bit expensive and it's definitely something that I'm going to have to invest in every single month. But, but I am doing things this year for me to better my health, to better my, you know, mental and physical health because I just need to be the best mom possible for my son. And I got to a point where I literally was in so much pain every single day that it was affecting my mood. It was affecting my stress. Um, can you just imagine like, being in constant pain every single day and not being able to sleep well and like it's just it's exhausting it is so exhausting so if you've been dealing with chronic pain honestly look into chiropractic care it literally blew my mind it was the first time I've ever went first time I ever got adjusted and this will be the second time that I <laughs>
me cooperate for mama? <laughs> they brought toys for him, so cute. Is that orange? That's orange. <gasps> red. It's a red fire truck. That's your favorite. It's a red one. Like you're taking social media marketing. That's so cool. Nice. So, so like everyone follows yep. my life and I've been talking about like starting cars. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so Mama's gonna go on the table, yeah. right? If you like, we can have the ladies come in and like hide, yeah, hang out with you. He's just, or... he's just shy. Oh. And I woke him up from a nap and he went to the pediatrician and got like I gotcha. three shots today. So. Oh. Awesome. Oh yeah, I see here. YouTuber slash influencer. Yeah. 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 Very, very cool. I so, know. I've been doing it for like 12 years. Wow, it's amazing. But you have to go over here. Look. Yeah. We wouldn't really even expect to see that much change after right. only one adjustment. So the fact yeah. that you're even saying, even if it's only half a percent, bit, yeah. we're already starting this process yeah. and getting okay. stress off your spine. That's Super good. cool. Okay. We're communicating with your spine. Your spine is telling us that there's a lot of, uh, of stress on it. Okay. okay. It's a it's an accumulation of stress in the first place that over yeah. time leads to these different aches and pains. Because when the body's stressed out, it's just simply not going to work as well. Right. So we're going to remove those areas of stress. Okay. okay. You're going to lay face down with your ankles slightly hanging off the table. Yeah. And the reason is because we're going to be eliciting the Achilles tendon reflex located behind your ankles. Okay. Reflexes are a great way to communicate with the nervous system. And since we want to talk to those nerves, that's why we're going to be eliciting those okay. reflexes here behind your ankle. We start off with a leg length analysis, okay? You have a left short leg. Remember, it's totally yeah. normal. Turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the left. Back to the middle. You're going to feel me touch different areas of your head, of your spine, of your hips, and check the length of the legs. How we know where we're going, we're looking to see that left short leg become longer and become even with the right, okay? So your first one's going to be right here. It's called a lateral occipital adjustment. Good. Now the higher up the segment, the more global the effect of the adjustment. So think of that one as like a full body tune-up. Yeah, so I'm 37 Turn to the right. Now that left short leg becomes even with the right leg when you turn your head to the right. That's your body's way of saying we have to go to the neck next on the left side, either C1 or C5. Well, how do I know which one? We're going to simply touch them both. I'm going to start with the first one, and that makes the legs go even. So we're actually going to start there. We don't have to go to C5 as well. Breathe in. And out. Perfect. Was that okay? Yeah. All right. Awesome. So next we're going to check out the hips and pelvis. We're going to this left SI joint. SI means sacroiliac. This hip has dropped back and down. So we're just going to give you two right in here. What do you got there? You got a truck? Yeah. Cool. You can tell he loves his mama. <laughs> he has a left side. Like. So next we're going to what's called L5. L5, it's the lowest vertebra in the low back. It sits just above the sacrum, the bone that you sit on. And it's common when we have a drop in that left hip, it's common to see L5 kind of be pulled in on that side there because of the ligament that connects the two. Remember, the better something is structured, the better it's going to function, right? So what we're going to be focusing on is over time giving you a healthier structure of your spine so the body is going to feel better, it's going to be functioning better. Drop your arms to the floor. Remember, towards the end of the visit, we're going to get a bit more hands-on just to gently clean up any secondary or compensatory stresses that may have been accumulating in the mid-back. Thank you. Right here, have a big breath in, please. Uh-oh. And out. Yeah, 
Perfect. Is that pressure okay? Yeah. All right, awesome. Great, you're all set. Thank you. That was awesome. Where are you going, dude? You did great. Remember, some initial soreness is totally normal. Yeah. To an extent, it can be really expected. Okay. But each visit builds off the last, so the best you can stick to those recommendations, the better the body's going to respond, okay? Okay. Any questions? Good. Right. Good. Thank We're you We're off so to much. an awesome start here. My pleasure. Thank you. Just stopped at Fruita Bowl. Me and Caden are going to share a bowl. He has it all over his mouth.